Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And first, we start with devastating images out of East Orange, New Jersey, where firefighters are trying to figure out what sparked a large fire that destroyed four homes there. The raging flames filled the sky this morning just as people were getting up for work and school. News for us, Gabby Acevedo is in East Orange with the latest. Behind me, you can see the aftermath. There were no injuries. The home where the fire started around 4 a.m. was vacant, but the flames quickly spread to three other neighboring houses where families had to be evacuated for safety. Chopper 4 was over the area as firefighters battled to put the fire under control, which they eventually did two hours after the initial call. Neighbors here in Amherst Street tell me they heard screaming and loud noises when they looked out their windows. They saw a huge fire and there were concerned about embers flying all over the street and landing on their property. The flames destroyed the houses next to the vacant one. A total of 12 residents have been displaced and are now getting help from the Red Cross. We spoke with neighbors who live just across the street from the destroyed houses and again they had to wake up in a haste. A total of 80 firefighters responded to the scene including emergency crews from Newark, Bloomfield, Orange and Montclair. At this hour the cause of the fire still remains from the investigation. Reporting from East Orange, Gabby Acevedo, News 4, New York. Thanks, Gabby. And this next one is breaking right now. A search is underway for a Princeton student who police say has been missing since Friday. Her name is Miss Ratch Unite, and she's a 20-year-old undergrad. She was last seen around 3 a.m. Friday morning in the vicinity of Scully Hall. She's slated to graduate in 2024. Her college newspaper, The Daily Princetonian, says she lives at Scully Hall and hasn't been in contact with family or friends for several days. All right, now on to new video out of Queens. That's where a six-year-old man was robbed while walking under a scaffolding. It happened in Holliswood just before 7 at night on Hillside Avenue. Police say four people pushed the man to the ground before going through his pockets and taking his iPhone. He did have a few scrapes and bruises, but should be okay. Police say two stores were selling illegal drugs on Long Island. One just steps away from an elementary school. Police arrested the owners and two workers of Exit 42 Deli in Bayshore and Legit 100 Smoke Shop in West Islip. They say mushrooms, marijuana, and even cocaine were being sold at the stores. At the West Islip store, they say the drugs were packaged as candy. All four men are being arraigned today. All right, now we move over to Connecticut. New warning lights are going up to help fight wrong way crashes. Now, as you can see in this demonstration, the lights are triggered by a car going the wrong way onto a highway. This one is in Southington along Interstate 84. For now, the $20 million pilot program is focused on high risk areas where wrong way crashes are likely to occur. State troopers say the majority of wrong way crashes are linked to alcohol or other impairments. We looked at the prevalence of nightlife, bars, restaurants, hotels, things that could drive some, you know, after hour driving. Now, Connecticut's DOT says these warning lights are going to be installed at seven more locations by the end of the year. Another 16 will be added next year. And speaking of tech, we've got some cool new things taking off at JFK Airport. Today, these driverless shuttles are being tested at the International Airport. And get this, it's the first of its kind for any American airport. And it's the first phase of what will become a larger program to use autonomous shuttles. In total, they've got eight motion sensors. And testing will continue now through tomorrow. And it's time for a look at our forecast as we head through the day. It is going to be on the cool side. Not only a cool day, but a cool night as well. A couple of them with temperatures overnight dropping into the 30s and low 40s. But a rebound for the weekend. Warmer air coming in our direction. It should be delightful both Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a look through the day today. Nothing but high clouds during the 8 o'clock hour. Tonight will be in the upper 40s to upper 30s around the region. And as we start tomorrow morning, temperatures in the lower 40s to lower 30s, give or take a few degrees around the tri-state area. As we look at the forecast the rest of the day, 54 degrees, our high southwest winds to about 15 miles per hour, plenty of sunshine, and we'll see sunset at 609. Tonight down to 42, those winds to about 10 miles per hour, unseasonably cold in and around the area. 712 is when the sun rises. Great to get out and see the foliage for the rest of the week, even into the weekend. And there's your 10-day forecast. All right. Thanks, Dave. That's it for now. I'm Kay Ingram.